Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have franchise tagged wide receiver Chris Godwin to the tune of a little over 50 million dollars which I think a lot of people could agree in some cases that might be a bargain so Chris Godwin is returning to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the franchise tag and let's talk about it uh this is a move that a lot of Bucks fans expected to happen myself as well especially given the reporting of Ian Rappaport who had said hey if a long-term deal can't uh you know be done the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will more likely or than not apply that franchise tag to Chris Godwin and now it has finally Finally happened. I know that there have been some people who have been down on Chris Godwin, uh, Chris Godwin lately, especially in the playoffs, given how he did have some struggles with dropping passes in some of those playoff games. A lot of people were not happy with Godwin. Myself personally, I think that he will be over to over be able to overcome those problems that he had in the playoffs with some dropped passes and I think that uh next year with a little bit more chemistry, with a little bit more comfortability with Tom Brady and just the overall chemistry with his quarterback, uh we will see Chris Godwin's play dramatically improve even more, which by the way, he had a very solid regular season. If he would have played a in an in, in, uh an entire slate of 16 games he would have had a thousand receiving yards uh, pretty easily. You know, he had a great year, leading a lot of people to believe that Chris Godwin might be Tom Brady's favorite target. I don't 100% believe that, but that is what some people have been saying out there in the uh, in the world, basically. So yeah, I think that Tom Brady is a huge fan of Chris Godwin. I think Chris Godwin had a pretty good year, even when he was playing with some injuries. I believe he missed four games, still finished with uh, around a uh, little under 900 receiving yards throughout the season and yes he did have his struggles in the playoffs but I think overall Chris Godwin will be able to overcome those struggles and put out an amazing year next year as well but this is kind of the first domino what happens with the rest of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers pending free agents Shaq Barrett, Levante David, and Dominican Sue, Antonio Brown, Ryan Suckup among other people well we're gonna have to wait and see this is one of those big ones I know people are going to be very critical of giving Chris Godwin the franchise tag you know the 15 million dollar franchise tag paying that much for a wide receiver whoa that's a lot of money uh towards the wide receiver position especially considering Mike Evans contract as well and I completely understand that myself personally I don't know if I would have given the franchise tag to Chris Godwin I might have given it to either Levante David or Shaq Barrett but the Buccaneers want to keep as many weapons for Tom Brady as possible. There still are contract restructurings and things that can be done to free up a little bit more money to bring back both Shaq Barrett and Levante David, you know, the to you, the, big, the big three, essentially, as well. So there are still things that can be done to free up some money, uh, create some cap space, and bring back those guys. Chris Godwin, he is that first domino falling with the franchise tag being applied to him, but I do understand concerns paying uh, two top wide receivers that much money each, because Mike Evans, he's making a good chunk of change per year as well. So, we'll just have to wait and see what happens here in regards to the other pending free agents, but today, right now, Chris Godwin is going to remain a Tampa Bay Buccaneer with the franchise tag. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this quick little video. Leave me your thoughts about the Chris Godwin franchise tag down in the comment section below. Are you for it? Are you against it? Do you want Chris Godwin to be back or do you wish the Buccaneers would have just let him walk into free agency? Give me your thoughts. But anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. We will have plenty more videos coming out talking about pending Tampa Bay Buccaneers free agency moves. It's going to be a lot of fun, but I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.